Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In our today's video, we are going to learn CBSE Class 4 Social Studies Chapter Agriculture and Industries of India. Our country India has vast natural resources. Development of agriculture and industry is essential for the progress of our country. Agriculture is very important to us. Nearly two-thirds of the working population of India earns its livelihood from agriculture. India is having several different soil types and climatic conditions. That is why in India we produce a wide variety of agriculture products such as rice, wheat, millets, pulses, cotton, jute, tea and coffee, sugarcane, spices and oil seeds. Let's learn about this agriculture products in India. Rice is the important food crop of India. It is the staple food of the people of southern and eastern India. Rice grows best in a hot and wet climate. It is mainly grown in West Bengal, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Punjab, Haryana, Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Assam, Odisha, Kerala, Telangana and Karnataka. Wheat Wheat is the staple food of the people of North India. It is mainly grown in Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh. Millets Millets include Jowar, Bajra and Ragi. They are grown in Rajasthan, Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Telangana and Karnataka. Pulses India is the largest producer as well as the consumer of pulses in the world. These are the major sources of protein in a vegetarian diet. Major pulses grown in India are Thur, Urat, Moong, Masur, Peas and Gram. Top pulses producing states are Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Maharashtra, Uttar Pradesh and Karnataka. Other crops such as oil seeds including mustard, groundnut, linseeds, sunflower etc. are grown in large quantities in several states of India. Sugar is made from sugarcane and India is one of the largest producers of sugarcane in the world. It is mainly grown in Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Bihar and Gujarat. Cotton Cotton is used for making cloth. It is mainly grown in Gujarat, Maharashtra, Telangana, Haryana and Karnataka. Jute Jute is used for making bags, carpets and it is mainly grown in West Bengal and Assam. Spices Spices including clove, cardamom, pepper, chilies, coriander seeds, turmeric, ginger etc. are also grown in India. Kerala and Karnataka are the major producing states of spices in India. Coffee Coffee is mainly grown in Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu. Tea India is the second largest producer of tea in the world. Tea grows best in hilly areas with abundant rainfall. It is mainly grown in the hilly regions of Assam, West Bengal, Tamil Nadu and Kerala. Now let me explain about the Green Revolution. The Green Revolution was launched in India in the 1960s. Under this, the government has took several steps to increase agriculture output in India. Let's know more about them. The methods used in Green Revolution include multiple cropping system, seeds with superior genetics, 
proper irrigation system, high yield variety of seeds, pesticides and fertilizers, modern machines and expansion of farming areas. As a result of this, our agriculture production has gone up several times. Today, we are not only self-sufficient in food production, but we also export agriculture products. Look around your house. You may be finding few industries. Let us know more about these industries. In our daily life, we use many goods such as television, books, pens, tables, utensils, clothes, etc. These all are called finished goods, meaning we can use these goods directly. But how do we get the finished goods? With the help of raw materials. These are the materials we need for making finished goods. Let's take an example of a bicycle. To make the bicycle, we need raw materials as metal, wheel, chain, etc. There are different scales of industries to get this raw materials and the finished goods. They are cottage industries, small scale industries and large scale industries. Let's learn about each one of them. Cottage industries. These industries employ very few people. They work with simple tools, usually out of homes or small workshops. They normally use local available raw materials. Handicrafts, pottery, handwoven and embroidered cloth and baskets are normally made in cottage industries. Some cottage industries also make footwear, woolen clothing and toys. Small scale industries. These are the industries which produce goods with the help of machines, hired labor and power are considered as small scale industries. The criteria they follow is that they use power with less than 50 employees. Max to max, it can extend to 80 or below 100. Large scale industries. These industries employ thousands of people and use large machines and produce goods in larger quantities. They are very expensive to build and start a large scale industry. Modern methods can be used to produce large quantities faster and more cheaply. The relationship between cottage industry, small scale industry and large scale industry is put in a tabular format for easy reference. This gives a broad picture. Thanks for watching. Hope you find this video interesting. Please like, share and subscribe to get our daily video notifications.